Hi kids! Today we will learn how does a seed grow into a new baby plant or seed germination. So let's start. Germination is the growth of a seed into a seedling or a small baby plant. The period for which the seed remains inactive or the period before the growth of a seed into a new baby plant is called its dormant period. Or an inactive state of seed is dormant period and it can range from a number of days, months, or even years. A seed does not germinate until it gets all the suitable environmental conditions. These are some requirements that must be met before the seed starts to germinate. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. A seed requires enough moisture, warmth, air, and sunlight to germinate. Moisture or water is required for the seed to break its hard protective shell, that is, testa. Some seeds need sunlight too for germinating, while some seeds only need warmth, air, and moisture. Today, we will learn how a bean seed germinates. Firstly, a bean seed absorbs water through the micropyle, an opening in testa just above the hilum. And when the seed swells due to absorbing moisture, its hard seed coat or testa breaks and gives way for the embryo or the small baby plant to come out. Embryo in the seed has two parts, radical and plumule. The part that grows into root is called radical. The part that grows into the shoot or stem is called plumule. First of all, the radical starts to grow and pushes down into the soil and forms the root of the new baby plant. And then plumule grows upwards and forms the shoot of the plant. This is testa or seed coat, that is withering away from the baby plant. These are cotyledons or seed leaves. They will also wither away when the baby plant will grow. Now the plumule grows and forms new green leaves and the seed leaves or cotyledons sheds off. And our new baby plant has grown by now with small roots, small stem and one or two fresh green leaves. Now this small baby plant can produce its own food through photosynthesis. Now let's revise what we learnt. We learned a seed required enough moisture, warmth, air, and sunlight to germinate. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Firstly, a bean seed absorbs water through the micropyle, an opening in the testa just above the hilum. And when the seed swells due to absorbing moisture, its hard seed coat or testa breaks and gives way for the embryo or small baby plant to come out. Radical starts to grow and pushes down into the soil and forms the root of the new baby plant. And then plumule grows upwards and forms the shoot of the plant. Now 
the plumule grows and forms new green leaves. And the seed leaves, or cotyledons, sheds off. And our new baby plant has grown by now with small roots, small stem, and one or two fresh green leaves. Now this small baby plant can produce its own food through photosynthesis. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye!